Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome to the first vlog I believe of 2023. I've tried to weekly vlog this week and it's literally just been blown out of the window. I've been absolutely rubbish at it. However, today it's Saturday the 14th of January. It's just coming up to quarter past eight in the morning so far too early for a weekend but I am sat in the car park at Coventry train station. I was almost about to say train centre then but I'm sat in the new car park which is very nice by the way i'm actually pleasantly surprised the spaces are huge it's really nice in here i am off to london today it's what i'm trying to say without waffling too much i'm going to london today just for the day to meet up with jess we're going to the design museum in kensington and i don't know what else we're going to figure it out when we get there as you know i'm doing a walking challenge this year we're virtually walking from john o'groats to land's end because i did land's end to john o'groats in 2021 and so today it's going to involve a lot of walking as well as going around the museum we'll get some food at some point somewhere for lunch and maybe visit a few bookshops if we have time as well so i'm going to vlog for the day i'm going to bring you along with me the first trip to london of 2023 so i am very excited i always love going to the big city and yeah let's go my train is at 8 42 so i've not got too long and i need to figure out how payment works in this car park so i'm going to be on my way now please don't forget to like comment and subscribe before this video begins and other than that let's head to london We've just finished up in the design museum. We went to the ASMR exhibition and I'm not gonna lie, I am disappointed. I think we paid like £10.90 each to go. And if you're really into ASMR and you really enjoy it, it's definitely worth it. But I thought it'd be more interactive in terms of feeling stuff and like touching it. Whereas it was very like audio based. So if you're into ASMR, then I would recommend it. But if not, it's not really worth the trek out. We're now just heading to grab some lunch at Five Guys nearby because we're both absolutely starving. And then the plan is after that to do a little bit of book shopping. So we're gonna go on the hunt for some bookshops and see where we end up. But the rain has stopped now, which is promising. It's not meant to rain for the rest of the day. So once we've got some food, I think we can do a little bit more walking. So I'll let you know what we get up to after we've had some food in our beddies. After browsing in some of the shops in the Kensington area, we decided to head off and walk all the way to Marylebone, which was quite a trek, but the reason we were going is to go to Daunt Books. This is somewhere that has been on my to-go list for absolutely ages because it's so stunning and I am so glad we went. Honestly, look at this bookshop. It was incredible. My only regret was not going earlier in the day because when we went, it was quite busy. Contrary to how these clips look, it was really busy downstairs. So it's definitely somewhere I will return back to. And then we finished off our day with cake. Wow, guys, I am looking very, very rough. But it's now five to six and I'm just about to hop on this train here to go back home. I actually cannot believe how long we've been here for and how much we've managed to do. We've done almost 18 kilometers or something silly like that. I'll put in a screenshot of it here. Um, so I'm more than ready to sit down on the train. Luckily, it's only an hour to get home. It's 54 minutes. And like I say, at the start, I parked in the car park at the train station. So it shouldn't actually take me that much longer to get home than what it normally does, which is really, really good. 
Um, I will catch up with you a little bit later because I feel like I've not really spoken to you too much today. So I'll probably speak to you when I get off the train and get into the car and I might take you out with me tonight because I really want to go food shopping if I've got the energy when I get back. So we will see, but if not, I will at least come on later and bring this video to a close and show you some of the bits that I picked up in London today. Well, hello again everyone. As you can probably tell, I am no longer in London. It is now the next day, it's Sunday. It's just coming up to half past 12. And I thought, because I didn't really film too much yesterday, that I would continue filming today. So my plans have changed slightly. So Sundays are usually the days that I go and watch Charlie play football when the football matches are on. But because we've had a lot of rain over here at the moment, all of the pitches are waterlogged. So the game has actually been cancelled. And instead, my plan now is I've just got ready, I've washed my hair and things, and I'm about to head out to town, which is a little bit late for Sunday opening hours, but still it will be okay um there's a few bits that i want to get i need to get some new pajamas some new like basic t-shirts i want some bath bombs from lush i've got a little list on my phone of a little spend up that i kind of need to have that i've been putting off for a little while so i'm gonna head into town i thought i would take you with me show you where i'm going show you what i'm buying show you what i like and what i don't like um and i thought that would extend this vlog a little bit into a weekend vlog as that makes a little bit more sense than uploading something that's probably about four minutes long that seems a little bit silly I just wanted to quickly show you the book though that I picked up yesterday so I think I showed you this but I bought this in the Oxfam charity shop in Kensington which was actually a really good bookshop all of their books were really good quality they were really nice like well looked after so I picked up Songbirds by Christy Leftieri I read The Beekeeper of Aleppo at the beginning of last year and really enjoyed it and I believe this is her second book they're not linked but this is just another one and I managed to get this for £2.99, which I'm really happy with because Jess told me that it's quite new. It's quite expensive in the shops at the moment. And like I say, the condition is really good. It's as good as new, really. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm excited to give that a read. So yeah, I suppose it's time for me to go and get my shoes on, head in. Probably have to get up some lunch whilst I'm out and about because I've not had anything to eat yet. So that's also quite exciting. Um, yeah, let's go because the shops are going to be shutting soon. hold my hands up and admit that this is probably the worst ever video for me filming consistently it's now a few days later and i am yet to show you everything that i got from town i have started using some stuff some stuff is already put away but i have saved most of it in this big primark bag next to me to show you guys and so i'm going to speed through it very quickly i have got a grey jumper from Primark, a nice v-neck one. I also have this in brown already. I've had it for quite some time and I saw this one and I was very happy because I wear my brown one quite a lot. So I thought I would get that. I got the basics that I went into town for. I got two white t-shirts from H&M. I only had them in a large. They were a little bit big, um, but when they're tucked in, they are fine. I got two packets of these tights, one for me, one for Charlie, although I'm sure they'll get muddled up and we'll end up sharing. Um, as you would have seen, I believe, I went into Lush. I got um, a unicorn poo bath bomb. This is the one that I saw that was like new. I've not seen this before. And it's essentially just shapes like a unicorn poo and really pink and purple. So I'm excited to use that and give that a go. I also got lots of butter balls or butter bears. I can't really remember which one. Um, as we use those the most. I then also went into the body shop. I got some of these coconut bath bubble bars i don't really know how well you can see there we are these were in the sale they were reduced to one pounds and then the sale was free for two so i picked up three of those because i thought why not the reason i did go into the body shop though was to get this body butter because charlie bought me the coconut body scrub for christmas and i just want the matching butter i like it when everything matches i got this tea tree skin clearing night mask I don't know if any of you guys have used this before. I've never really heard of it, but oh, it's not focusing at all, is it? I've never heard of it, but I assume it's going to be okay. I'm going to try and use it because if we cannot tell, my face at the moment, especially my chin area, 
is literally hating on me so bad but i also have spots like on my neck and round the back of my neck and on like the top of my back i think it's because since coming off the pill there's obviously been a lot of hormonal changes and i must be at the part now where my skin is breaking out and then some more basics that i went into town for was pajamas i've got absolutely loads of pajamas but i am in desperate need of a clear out because mine are so old they're getting quite manky and it's not something i replace often but when i do i just tend to do like the whole pile of pajamas but i really struggled to find some in town i went into primark which is my usual go-to and the only ones i could find were these so i quite like this set that they do it's like a short sleeve top long bottoms and i've always been able to find loads of them but they had the smallest section of them available when i went in so this is the only one i picked up from primark it's a blue top and then the bottoms are so cute i think they're going to be really lovely going into spring as well um, and because I couldn't find any of the pyjamas, I did try looking in M&S. And again, they didn't have many either in that kind of style. But I did pick up one pair, which is this grey top and pink and grey bottoms. Kind of the same as the Primark ones, just double the price. Although they are better quality. But then the last thing I got from town is something that I'm so happy about. I refilled my Angel perfume. So I've been wearing this perfume for literally years. And it ran out way before christmas i've just been using charlie's ever since and so i went and refilled the bottle at the perfume shop it is obviously very pricey but you do save a bit of money refilling it and i never used to know that you could refill the bottles but this cap comes completely off and they offer it in all of the perfume shops so if you wear this perfume and you didn't know now you do but that is pretty much everything that I picked up from town. Like I say, there was a few other items, but they're already in use or already in the wash or Charlie's got them somewhere else. But you've seen the majority of the bits that I've picked up. I do really apologise that this whole video has probably been really jumpy for you guys. I've been so inconsistent with filming. This was only supposed to be a London day out vlog, but I just didn't film anywhere near enough for it to be one day's worth. The plan was to do the rest on Sunday, but again very inconsistent i honestly don't know what's wrong with me but i have seriously failed at this vlog nevertheless i do hope that you've enjoyed it i do find that recently i'm being a lot more consistent over on tiktok i'm really enjoying it at the moment and i think i've been getting into that over the last few months but i'm enjoying filming little daily vlogs homey content book content i feel like it's just easier over there and more accessible like you can watch things way quicker than a whole youtube video so if you don't follow me over there already then make sure you go and check that out because like i say i am posting quite a bit more over there and i'm having more fun with it than i am with youtube at the moment which is unusual because i actually really enjoy doing youtube and vlogging and doing videos for you guys but I don't know if there's something about tiktok that's making it my favorite at the moment so like i said go and check out my tiktok if you haven't already and i suppose rather than just rambling on and not making much sense because i am quite tired today i should bring this video to a close so if you did enjoy whatever type of video this has ended up being then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any more content i promise i will try and get better with my vlogs as time goes on I'm going to blame it on it being January and the start of a new year and the Christmas blues. Um, but yeah, I do hope that you enjoyed. And other than that, I'm going to let you go and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.